Welcome back everyone, Oz here. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And today, we will be taking another look at r slash entitled parents. Her kid almost killed a five-year-old me at the pool. And there's a twist in this tale. This is a story that my dad told me about since I was five years old at the time. But I especially remember one part of it because that was the part where I nearly drowned. In the mornings during the weekends, the local swimming pool would host a private swimming club called the Dolphins for young kids aged four to nine to teach them how to swim. The lessons lasted from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and during this time, they wouldn't let anyone in unless they were part of the Dolphins. My dad used to bring me to the Dolphins every Saturday morning, usually after the lesson was over. The kids would be allowed a half an hour to play in the water before they went home. Some parents would sit on the benches next to the pool and watch them swim, and others were in the pool with their kids. On this particular day, the lesson was about practicing holding our breath. After lessons, I decided to practice holding my breath underwater. The exercise I did was to try to sit at the bottom of the pool at the shallow end, one meter deep, and stand up when I needed to take a breath of fresh air. On this particular instance, I was feeling brave, so I sat and tried to hold my breath as long as possible. Suddenly, I heard a splash above my head and looked up, and there was this giant rubber floating mat above my head. This thing was as big as a queen size mattress. I was running out of air, so I stood up and my head hit the floaty. I tried to push it upwards, but this thing was ungodly heavy, especially for a five-year-old. I couldn't stand up, so now I couldn't walk along the bottom of the pool. Now I began to panic. I tried to get out from underneath the floaty, but I couldn't swim yet, so I tried to crawl out, but I barely moved. I frantically started to flap my arms, thinking that I was swimming, but I didn't move. My dad, who had been watching me, noticed my frantic splashing and dived into the pool, shoved the giant floaty mattress out of the way, and pulled me up out of the water. As I surfaced, I heard another splash and saw an 11-year-old looking kid fall off the floaty mattress into the water. The mattress was so goddamn heavy because he was sitting on it. I started to sob from the shock and from inhaling chlorine water. The kid pulled himself out of the water and ran over to the benches. Enter Entitled Mother. She started screaming at my dad for pushing her precious angel into the pool. My dad is pissed and starts screaming back at her that her kid plopped his floaty mat on top of me and that I could have drowned. The lifeguard saw the whole thing and came over. Hey, what's the problem? Her kid dropped his flow on OP. She couldn't get out from under it. She almost drowned. Did he do it deliberately or was it by accident? Of course he did it liberally. Why would he not? He was just playing. You're not allowed to do anything that could endanger other swimmers. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. But why? My little angel is allowed to do anything he wants. He sits on his mat on top of other people all the time and he never gets in trouble for it in other pools. So why is it an issue here? Because it's dangerous, especially to non-swimmers. You can hear the gears in Entitled Mother's mind turn as she processes what's just been said to her. If she can't swim, then she has no business being here. Why would anyone bring a kid to a pool if she can't swim? Because she's a dolphin, that's why. Are you stupid? She's not a dolphin, she's a kid. No, the Dolphins is the name of our swim club. She's taking part in our swimming lessons. Though, your kid must be a part of the Dolphins if he's here. <laughs> no, my kid isn't part of those stupid dolphins. Suddenly, the lifeguard's eyes go wide. Plot twist, Entitled Kid isn't part of the dolphins. He almost drowned me and he's not even allowed to be here in the first place. Why are you here then? I just wanted to take my kid to have some fun. Is that so much to ask without being wrongfully harassed? The swimming pool is closed to the public while the dolphins are on. You're not even allowed to be here. How did you get past the front desk? I can come here whenever I want. Why can't you just let, little brat, play? Because these are private lessons. Go home. Then Entitled Mother starts spouting BS about how kids who can't swim shouldn't be allowed to be in a swimming pool and we are selfish for hogging the pool to ourselves and blah blah blah. Apparently Entitled Kid shoved me back into the water and I freaked out again. After that, the lifeguard escorted them out while she and her kid were screaming obscenities at us. My dad took me home and he put on Finding Nemo for me so that I would be less afraid of the water.
Entitled parent tells me to clean up her child's mess. This is unfortunately real. This took place around a year ago. Bit of background context, I live in a divorced family and I switch off between my mom and my dad's houses. My dad remarried the woman who is now my stepmom. She's an EP and my stepsisters are more important than I am to her. My stepsisters are also seven and three. My stepmom asked me to build some of my old Legos to sell them, which was fine by me because I didn't play with them anymore and I like building them. I had just come back from my mom's house and was at my dad's. I went down to the basement to play some PS4 after a stressful week of finals at school. I come down to find the basement looking like a Lego war. Apparently, I had left some of my bins of Legos out and forgot to put them away. So I walked back upstairs to ask my stepmom what had happened. You left your Lego bins out so the girls played with them. And you didn't tell them to clean it up? No, isn't it your responsibility? Yes, but shouldn't my stepsisters clean it up because they made the mess? Quit talking back. I, I'm not. I have a slight stutter. Yes, you are. I, I swear to God I'm not. Yes, you are. Now go clean out those Legos or give me your phone. I'm not going to do either of those things because one, I didn't make that mess. Two, you don't really have the right to take my phone. Go get me your phone now. No phone for a week. Okay, fine by me. I walked up the stairs to get my phone, but what she didn't know is that my phone was in my pocket. Walking slowly so I could tell my friends not to text my phone for the next week. I'm calling your father. Why? You have no respect for us whatsoever and you need to be punished. That's not true. I'm just not cleaning up a mess that my stepsisters made. They should clean it up, not me. I had a stressful finals week and I just wanted to play some video games with my friends. Looks like you're not gonna be doing that for a week. That's not fair. Life's not freaking fair. Now go to your room. I stomp upstairs pretending to be upset, but my stepmom forgot to take my phone. So I called my mom and asked her if I could spend the weekend at her house. She said yes, and I went on with my day. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk and my 7-Up votes. Entitled mom and her entitled son try to take my gaming and server programming PC. Here's my entitled parent and child experience. EM is entitled mom, EC is entitled child, me is obviously me. I'm now 14, but at the time I was 11, so here we go. I'm a PC and computer nerd, and that's how I was raised, with technology. My dad knows a fair bit about it, so he always taught me about it. I had at the time a gaming PC, but I sold the GPU, and got a server-based processor and motherboard for a secondary PC to program, do schoolwork on, and other stuff, and saved up for a new high-end $1800 PC, which I worked hard for. So people always admire it. Anyway, I have a three monitor setup, all monitors are old 24 inch monitors that my dad owned. So two for my gaming PC and one for my secondary one. And I also have quite a nice PC so people always admire it. Anyway, we had a party coming up and my room has a TV and a kind of movie theater vibe with a dimmed LED lights. So people were in there sometimes, mostly the younger folks watching movies. However, that movie theater like room is the huge closet in my room which is accessed via the laundry room outside. And I locked the door that goes into my room and the one for it in my closet. So it was a regular little party and my cousin and a friend of his mother, EM, and her son, EC, came to the party. When I go to my room, the entitled child follows and looks at my setup. He is mesmerized as he's only like nine. He asks if he can play Minecraft and I say, yeah. And here's where it goes a bit south. This is cool. Yeah, I worked hard on it. Can I have your other PC? No, I use it and need it for the other things that I don't want to put on my main PC. Please? No, I paid very much for this and I am not going to give it to anyone unless they are buying it. You know what? Unplugs the cord to my secondary PC, which has a lot of important stuff loaded on it. What are you doing? I end up kicking him out of my room and he has a breakdown, but I lock it and go down to eat. When I was finished, I go up and this is what greets me. What did you do to my son? Well, you see, he unplugged one of my PCs because I wouldn't give it to him. And now I probably lost a lot of that. Well, give it to him. Uh, no. You're like 11 and I'm 24 years older than you. Therefore, you listen to me. Keep in mind, I barely knew this woman and I am the oldest child in the family. Well, that PC is worth a total of $1,000. So if you pay that, you can have it. Are you mental? Give it to him. She takes the key to my room and unlocks it, then rips off wires and grabs the PC. 
I was at the time like five foot two, and this woman was like four foot eleven. So I easily grabbed it from her, put it back, and relocked the room. Mommy, I want it. You have five minutes to give it to him or else. Are you up on the clouds? I am not giving it to him as I needed, and that's final now. Entitled mother heads down to tell my mother everything. My mom doesn't buy her bluff and tells her to leave me alone. When the entitled mother and entitled child are leaving, I notice they have something rather shiny and nice and large. My gaming PC. My dad notices though, grabs it from them, and realizes that they broke the glass panel. They storm off, however we knew where they lived, and made them pay $30 for a new panel. The case has custom panels, so it would be pretty replaceable. And that's the end. Also, some cables were broken as they pulled them, but I had a spare. Anyways, this is my story. I hope you enjoy. Thank you everyone for checking out today's episode. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.